this video, we're going to take a look at working with custom events and using data to uh, update the UI. Uh, here I've got the weather screen, and what I'd like to do is set up an event that's going to change the uh, temperature for our outside weather. And to start off, what we need to do is add a variable. So for that, we'll just call this temp. We'll hit OK. And now what we're going to do is go up to the event editor create a new event that's going to adjust that temperature. So here, custom events, I can add a new event and we'll give it a name. Uh, we'll call this update outside temperature. And uh, description for this is going to be uh, change in temperature outside. And this is an incoming event. Uh, which makes sense. And now down here, we're going to set up the event data. So I'm just going to call this value since that's what it is. And I mean, this could be a string, it could be, you know, a decimal number. But um, for this, since we're working with temperature, I'm just going to use a signed integer. We'll hit finish. And what's nice is I can set what the minimum and maximum values are uh, for the value. So let's just say it doesn't get colder than minus 40 and then it doesn't get hotter than plus 40. So now I've got all that in place. Um, and when I hit finish, we've got a custom event. I'll just hit save on that. And if I quickly go into the project view, you know, in the event folder here, this is that file that we just created, um, just so you're aware of where things are. And now what we're gonna do is set up an action that's going to change that outside weather. So um, at the application level, I'm just going to add a new action. We'll add action and we'll look for an event. Um, update outside temperature. So that's what we just made. And when that occurs, what we'd like to do is call Lua. And it's got a f Lua function. Let's call it um, outside temperature. And I'll hit finish. And now that action has been added. Um, to the application, just take a look for it here. This this is that there update outside temperature, and if I hit edit, you know we'll be asked if we want to create this function, uh, which we do since it doesn't exist. So uh, for here, we're going to take a look at um, Lua table with the map args, and I'm just going to quickly jump over to the documentation for Crank Storyboard, uh, Chapter 12, scripting with Lua. This is what we're looking at here is um, you know, a Lua table, and then specifically, you know, we're looking for the event data. So uh, keep that in mind when you're working in this space. And we'll start out with a local, um, we'll just call it temp. And we're going to do map args. And we've got the context on the autocomplete here. So event data. That's what we're after. And then if you'll remember back in our event file, we've got value. That's that's what we want to put it here. So and now what we do is jury dot set value. And then what we want to use is the variable on the outside temperature here, right? So if we go over to this, I can copy that path. We'll go back into Lua and I'll paste that in. And now we just need to, um, yeah, so temp, and um, we won't forget about the degree symbol. And so that's in place. So if I hit save, that's good. Now what we're gonna do is take a look at pushing this um, outside weather event uh, into the UI when we run it. And for that, we're gonna take a look at uh, storyboard connector, which is this view up here. So storyboard connector, uh, this should look familiar. We have an event name here, update outside temperature, and we've got value, which um, we can push that data to move up and down accordingly. And what's important to note here is the channel name. You know, here you might want to name this thermostat, and then when you run the application, you want to make sure that the channel is also set to thermostat. You know, you can see here that the default is application in both instances. So I can run this right now. Um, here, I'll just pop this out so we can 
see this, and we'll bring it up. We've got these side by side. And if I go over to the weather screen, you know, now we can go and we can start pushing actual data into the UI, uh, which is really nice because instead of going into a command line to perform this task or creating a separate simulator um, application to achieve this, you've got a really nice API where everything's in place and you're able to start testing everything out. So that is working with the um, IO connector um, with your custom events. And the last part of all of this is that within your project, um, you know, working with an engineering team, what you are able to do is you can go ahead and you can export, you know, your IO event header. And, and this is nice because you can hand this to the engineering team that is able to work with this um, C fi header file. And uh, that way, you know, everyone is working from the same uh, sheet, uh, knowing what values, what channel names, what uh, data types are being used uh, when pushing information uh, from the back end to the front end of your UI. Thank you.